All right, welcome. Today we're taking apart an Acer Spin SP513-52. And just be advised, we're gonna be leaving the display complete, but we'll be taking apart most of the chassis. And to start out, we're just gonna need a small Phillips bit. This is a 2.5. So we're just gonna flip it over and remove all of these bottom case screws. All right, once you have those bottom case screws out, we're just gonna pop up the back cover and or bottom bottom cover. So I'll just find a good spot uh, to kind of get a spudge or other flat tool in there. And then once you have it started, just pull up a little more and it should pop all the little catches or you can go around and just kind of do it uh, little by little, but the acers usually pop up pretty well. All right, so we will start with the battery. Uh, looks like they've got plenty of tape on here, so we'll go ahead and remove the battery tape. Okay, with this type of connector, it will just pull straight out. I'm gonna remove the battery screws so I can get a little bit more slack on that. Okay, so lift up on the battery, get a little more space there, and then we can get our fingers in to pull that connector out. Battery is an AP1505L. Not zero, that's an O. Okay, check our focus. All right, so for the SSD, it's just gonna be one Phillips screw. And then we can pull the drive out of the slot. The slot looks like an NVMe, but this is a SATA M2 2280. Uh, so this might be a hybrid, but you might want to check with the manufacturer on that. So drive that's in here is a SATA M2. All right, so we'll do the same thing for the Wi-Fi card. Just one screw. And these antennas just pop straight up and off, and then we can pull that card free. Uh, this is, um, since I believe this one opens up 360, we can, we can go ahead and remove the display before we remove any of the other stuff. And we've had quite a bit of requests for that. So, um, all we need to do to remove the display assembly is to disconnect it. So any of the connectors that are coming out of that, um, LCD assembly, you just want to free the cables so that when we go to separate the two pieces, it's ready to go. All right, so this connector, you have to lift up on the little retainer and then we can pull that video cable out. Make sure the DC jack uh, connector is out of the way. I'm just gonna unplug it for now. Good enough. Okay, so to release the rest of the display, we're just going to open it up 180 degrees, and then we can get these uh, remaining hinge screws. So, as long as you have um, the display assembly fully disconnected from the motherboard, then it looks like all you have to do is just remove the hinge screws, and we should be able to set, uh, pull that display assembly up and off. And then we can set it aside. All right, so we have the cables freed, took out the hinge screws, and now we have removed the display assembly. All right, so it looks like our next step, we're going to go ahead and remove the fan screw that is remaining. And we'll go ahead and push that connector out by using the tabs. 
Some of these are a little bit small, so you may need to use a spudger on one side, work that connector out. And we can remove the fan. All right, so the heat sink, we're just going to remove the heat sink screws. That one was on very, very tight. Okay, so once we have those three screws loosened, we can remove the heat sink from the motherboard. All right, so since we're gonna be pulling the motherboard, we're gonna go ahead and unstick the little uh, pram battery, CMOS battery, and then we will go ahead and work on getting the rest of the connectors removed. So this type, just grab those little tabs, pull out, this one flips up. Of course, there's more tape, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the little sticky tape and then we can get the keyboard and touchpad and probably the keyboard backlight. And just, it's better to flip those back down until you're ready to reinstall. And with the uh, keyboard connector, this little uh, retainer just slides out. So slide it toward the ribbon and then you can remove the ribbon. All right, we'll finish removing the DC jack as well. And then we can finish removing any of the screws that are still attached to the motherboard. So we're gonna leave the uh, CMOS battery connected to the motherboard. Looks like we have all the connectors removed and we have the screws removed, so we'll just gently lift it up and out of the case and then just make sure there's no uh, ribbon still connected to the back. So it looks like this one has onboard RAM. Um, I don't see a RAM expansion slot anywhere so you can't upgrade the RAM on this. You can only upgrade the SSD and maybe the Wi-Fi card. All right. Uh, so we'll go ahead now and um, just remove the little in-out board here. And these little tiny connectors can be kind of a challenge. So what I like to do with these is just get a small uh, slotted bit. And then there's like a small tab right here on the top of the actual connector. You just gotta stick the tip into it and pull it free. So it'll give you tabs. You have to just get in the little recess on the top of that to pull it out. Okay, I'll finish removing the screw for the in-out board. And remove it from the palm rest assembly. Okay, so we're gonna leave the uh, two speakers. They look like they're just held on by some rubber grommets. Uh, the keyboard is not replaceable, generally, just because of these uh, little melted plastic rivets that are kind of poked through it. Um, double checking though, I do see a bunch of tiny uh, slotted Phillips screws. So the riveting might actually be done for part of the palm rest bracket. But it does look like the backing plate for the keyboard is removable, so um, looks like you're just gonna need a small uh, Phillips. It's probably like a one or 1.5 to remove that. And then same for the touchpad, these are a little bit bigger, so you can stay with the 2.5 to remove that touchpad assembly. So that's pretty much it. That is how you disassemble the Acer Spin SP513-52 series laptop. So if this video helped you or you found it informative, please like and subscribe. Thanks.